Today we're back at Parra Hills Vet Clinic to learn about rabbits. So Dr Mike, why don't we talk about rabbits today? Why don't we? Especially when we've got some cool guys like this to hang out with. Yeah. Cathy, can you introduce us to your friends? Well, I certainly can. The one you're holding is Fonzie, he's eight and he's a mini lop. This cute guy is Benny. He's two and a half and he's a dwarf lop. And this is Marty who's only six months old but he's also a dwarf lop. So what's the best way to look after your rabbit? The most important thing to know about rabbits is how to feed them properly. Yeah. Rabbits you basically have to look at as a set of teeth and a stomach on legs. And we need to keep those two areas really happy to have a happy rabbit. Okay. If either of those go, get a problem, we've got very sad rabbit very quickly. So Cathy, what's the best food to feed a rabbit? That's actually the best question to ask with rabbits. It is most important that they get at least 75% of good quality hay or grass in their diet. Wow. The rest of it, uh, vegetables, carrot tops, celery tops, they like the leaves, uh, herbs you can feed them. Remembering it's for the teeth that we want that hay. We yeah. need the rough hay to grind those teeth down and keep a happy rabbit. Okay. With these guys, have you got any fascinating facts about rabbits you can tell us? My favourite is that they only blink once every 12 minutes, so that's five times an hour. Wow. So wow. don't ever try and have a staring competition with a rabbit? You'll lose. Lose every time. Every okay. time. <laughs> so do you need special housing to keep a rabbit? Yes, you do. You need to make sure that they've got nice, even housing because they don't have pads on the bottom of their feet. They've only got hair. Okay. So anything too hard can cause them little sores that are very hard to fix. So Dr Cathy, if I was to bring my rabbit into you, what sorts of things would you be looking at to see whether Fonzie was happy? Oh, I would do all the normal things that you would do for a dog or a cat. Check out the chest, the heart, the lungs, look at their eyes, their ears, feel their tummy, but also listen to their tummy, which is really? unusual because you want to hear the noise of everything moving. We want to know that tummy's happy. And then I'd also look at their teeth, which is not just the incisors there, the front teeth. More importantly is seeing the teeth that actually sit right back here underneath the eyes. That sounds like hard work. You need an otoscope to do it. Right. And what's with those ears? I mean, they're, they're, they're just so cute, but do they cause any special problems? They can get ear mites, but most of the time they're, they're normal. Absolutely. They're happy. So do you need a licence to keep a rabbit? In Queensland and the Northern Territory, you do. Okay. No one else, though. Everywhere right. else you can have them. Now I know I sort of can feel Fonzie's really powerful back legs. Do they actually need much exercise? Can I walk them on a lead? You can walk them on a lead. Most rabbits will exercise themselves quite happily if you let them roam around a bit, but there are many that are trained to walk on a lead. Now I've heard the saying, breeding like rabbits. So are there any special things we should think about when we're keeping rabbits together? Desex them. Desex them, right? Definitely desex them. Fantastic. Thanks for introducing Fonzie, Marty and Benny to us today. <laughs> i just got to say they're some of the three best looking rabbits I've ever seen. Yeah. They're a credit to you. Well done. Thank you. Next, I chatted to Sally from SA Rabbit Rescue to find out what they do for rabbits. So Sally, what is SA Rabbit Rescue? Well Olivia, SA Rabbit Rescue is a home based shelter predominantly for rabbits and we take in all rabbits that need to have new homes. And how many rabbits do you rescue each year? At the worst we've had over 8,000 but on average about 2,500 wow. rabbits a year. Yeah, that's a lot of rabbits. It certainly is. So Olivia, when the bunnies come to us, we give them a health check and then we behavioural check them. They stay with us for about 31 days and we make sure that the bunnies have got nice temperaments to go to their new homes and that they're not going to bite or scratch children. Wow, that sounds like a big job. How can the public help? Well, the public can help us here in South Australia by donating some time. Um, they can offer to do foster caring for us, but we only do that on a limited basis with one or two bunnies so that they're not stretching their time and their facilities. We also wouldn't mind financial donations and donations of fresh fruit and vegetables and any foods that come in handy, hay and all that sort of thing. Okay, so how can the public follow you guys? Um, yeah, they can follow us on Facebook at yeah. SA Rabbit Rescue and Adoptions and also on the internet at wildwoodbunnies.com. Okay, well thanks Sally. It's an absolute pleasure.